This tutorial will review desktop console call handling and paging options. During an incoming call, you will hear a one ring notification through your console followed by ringing on your desk phone. The one ring notification is browser dependent, so may not be heard by all users of the feature. To answer an incoming call, click the answer icon on the display and your desk phone will answer the call via the speakerphone. To disengage the speakerphone, simply pick up your handset to speak with the caller. A headset can also be incorporated into your handset should you choose to answer and handle calls this way. To end a call, click the end call icon on the display. You can also end a call by hanging up your handset or by selecting the end call soft key. To transfer a call to an extension, click the transfer icon and then position your cursor over the person you wish to transfer the call to. Click on the transfer to extension icon beside the extension in order to complete the transfer. If you do not have the extension that you wish to transfer to in your view, you can search for the extension by entering a name or an extension number in the searchable box. To transfer a call directly to an individual's voicemail box, click on the transfer icon and then find the extension you wish to transfer to and click on the transfer to voicemail icon. If for any reason you need to cancel the transfer before completing, simply press the cancel transfer icon and the caller will return to you. To transfer a call to an outside number, click on the transfer icon and then enter the phone number you wish to transfer the caller to in the area above the dial pad by using the dial pad numbers or by using the numbers on your computer keypad. Once the number has been entered, press the transfer to icon to complete the transfer or press the enter key on your keyboard. If you make an error while entering a number, you can use the erase icon to erase digits. To park a call, click on the park icon. Listen for the parked position and then page the information by clicking on the page icon. The call will be placed into the parking tab for ease of visibility. If the parked call goes unanswered, it will ring back to the extension that originally parked the call and display the word park in front of the incoming caller's ID so that you are notified that it is a parked call coming back. You will also hear one ring through the console as a notification. This one ring is browser dependent, so may not be heard by all users of this feature. To pick up a parked call, click on the parking tab and locate the call that you wish to unpark. Click on the retrieve icon to speak directly with the caller. To place a call on hold, click the hold icon. To retrieve the caller from their held position, click on the release icon. To place an external call, enter the number in the area above the dial pad via your console or your computer keypad, and then either click on the dial key or press the return key on your computer to complete the call. If you are placing a call to a company that provides you with menu options, enter the number, click on the dial icon, and then when asked to enter an extension number to connect with, enter the extension number in the area above the dial pad and either click on the Send DTMF icon or press Enter on your computer keypad. To place an internal call to an extension, find the extension in your list and click on the Dial icon, or enter the extension number in the area above the dial pad and click on the Dial icon or press the Enter key on your computer keypad. If you are on a call and another call comes in, the new call will display with a green arrow. If you decide to pick up the second call, simply click the answer icon to the right of the caller's info. This will automatically place your first caller into a hold position. If additional calls come in while you're on a call and have another on hold, you can simply use the answer icon for additional new incoming calls, which thereby places other callers on hold until you can get back to them. If you wish to leave a message at an internal extension's voicemail box without having their handset ring, find the extension in your list and click on the call voicemail icon. You will hear one beep and then be able to leave your message. 
There are three options for paging. One is to page all, which includes handsets and overhead paging if enabled. In order to page this way, click the page icon. If you want to page through the handsets only, enter 77007 in the area above your dial pad, followed by clicking on the dial icon. This will now allow you to speak through your handset. If you want to page the overhead pager only, if enabled, enter 77009 in the area above your dial pad, followed by clicking the dial icon. This again will allow you to speak through your handset. 